Mankind. At first, we started off with just a couple of stones in a cave. Then we learned about farming and growing crops, started building cities and structures, and then we reached the medieval times. There were constant dangers of wars. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Harsh weather conditions. A lack of medicine. This time period was literally known as the Dark Ages because of how harsh life was. I'll be the first to admit, I've gotten pretty comfortable in the 21st century. I've got my iPhone 15, I've got Netflix at my disposal, but all of that is about to change because I'm about to head to a castle that's over a thousand years old. And we're gonna find out and see if I could survive the Middle Ages. Won't be needing these. Hello from 1500 AD. Look at us time travelers, hey. So I got to the castle late last night, so it was really dark, so I didn't really get to see much. But can we just take a moment for this room? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at this beauty. It's a king's suite. It actually used to be a prison. It literally used to hold prisoners in here, apparently. But now it's a beautiful room for people to stay at. So let's do a little room tour. So this is the staircase walking up to my room. You walk up and you enter in through here. And oh my goodness. We fully just transported, I swear. First of all, check out these high ceilings. People would pay top dollar in LA for high ceilings like this. We've got some nice tables tables and chairs with a nice little window to look out. We've got a huge king size bed. This is my first time staying in a bed with curtains and let me tell you, I'm feeling like a queen already. All of the lighting in here is like crowns. Back then when they used the restroom, I'm pretty sure they just pooped and peed in a hole, but we're not gonna do that because that's unsanitary. This is the bathroom. Of course, we've got a mirror mirror on the wall. The skinniest window I've ever seen. Even the ceilings in the bathroom are beautiful. We've got a nice little place to enjoy our morning coffee. This is the shower in here and unfortunately, as much as I would love to use this thing, they didn't have running water back then, so neither will I. Imagine the medieval fit checks in this mirror. There's a chair here that's perfect for enjoying my afternoon tea, gossiping about the latest lords and ladies. There's nothing in here. <gasps> this is insane. Oh my god, you guys, I'm outside right now, and this is absolutely absurd. It's so beautiful. I'm up so high. This is the view right now. Look at this. And this is just my patio at the moment. There's so much history here. I can't wait to learn all about it. This is like, wow. Off the bat, we've got a slight little problem, okay? So I arrived to Birmingham last night. I flew from Abu Dhabi to Paris for my connecting flight and then to Birmingham. And unfortunately, this is what happened last night. This is us looking for the, our luggage. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else coming in through here? Yeah, our baggage is in Paris at the moment. And we don't know when it's coming. We don't know when it's coming, but hopefully it's soon. But this is this has been a freaking nightmare trying to freaking find where our luggage is. Yeah, my luggage is currently enjoying some croissants in Bowie, if you know what I mean. That is my luggage, and that is me. So, uh, you know what, it's fine, because now I'm really getting the ultimate medieval experience because I don't have a toothbrush, I don't have toothpaste, I don't have makeup, I don't have fresh clothes, including fresh undies. Oh God, ew. Is this the 1500s fit? No, but I'm comfy. You know, I know they wish they had sweatpants back then. Okay, we got water in the sink and this is all we have. No soap, no face wash or nothing. So we're just gonna wake up, wake up the skin. Ugh. I feel so gross. And this is after 20 hours of traveling and I, I'm not gonna be clean. I'm not gonna feel clean without all of my products, but it's fine. Oh God, this is my least favorite part because I don't have my luggage, I don't have my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Back then, they didn't have Colgate. They didn't have Crest whitening strips. They had twig that they would literally just like scrub on their teeth to get the plaque off along with a cloth. And I don't have a twig right now, so a cloth it is. This is so unhygienic. Ugh. I'll get it wet and I guess. This is gross, I'm not gonna lie. Scrub a dub dub. Okay, well I'm just gonna hope that nobody gets anywhere near me today because my breath is gonna stink. And lastly, to finish off this very short get ready with me, they didn't have obviously the hairbrushes that we have today, but they had their fingers and they had wooden brushes. I don't have a wooden brush, so fingers it is. Oh God. Ow. This, this is, this is great. Okay, now we have a full day planned ahead of us. Before I came here, I did some research and this castle is massive. It's so huge, there's so much to see. All right, but hair is done. Breath is stanky and I think we're ready to hit the town or hit the crown. Get it? Cause I'm in a castle. I don't know. Okay, now this is a door right by the shower. If we wanna open this guy, we have our own little patio. <gasps> Oh my God, this is insane. This is the tallest building anywhere even remotely close. We've got views of the whole city. And we have our own little walkway here. It's a bit nippy, but you know what? Back then it was always nippy. Wow, this is crazy. Yep, yeah, that's my tower right there. No big deal. Hello? Hello? Is anybody down there? 
I hope not. <laughs> We're supposed to be the only ones at this castle. Oh God, it's really dark. Oh, what the? This feels like a maze. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Where for art thou, Romeo? Where you at, though? You know, they didn't have Tinder or Bumble back then, so I'm pretty sure the dating apps were just waiting up in a tower, waiting for your Prince Charming to come. <clears throat> I'm still waiting. You're telling me I have this whole castle to myself? noise going on in there and I don't know what it is. So a lot of castles were built on hills to try and be able to see all of the incoming threats. And I'm pretty sure this right here was used to fend off enemies. So we've got multiple gates here and then within here they would push rocks through to try and prevent their enemies from walking through. Holy crap, this is... Oh, it's a bird. Look at that little guy just in there. Are you here to fend off enemies? I'll take that as a yes. This is from my Game of Thrones audition. I know what you're doing, Lord Barrington. <laughs> you're trying to take all the money from the peasants. But we're not having it. <laughs> <laughs> you dare leave us with nothing but rocks to eat? How dare you treat my people like this? Your reign is coming to an end. <laughs> Death to Harold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That's a British name. <laughs> <laughs> so because the castle is now mostly a museum and only partially a place to stay, the whole place is filled with wax figures. <laughs> Wait, why does she kind of look like me? Am I crazy or does she look like me? She looks like she's just fed up. <laughs> <laughs> she would like to be anywhere but here. Let me tell you about the stock market. The boys are just being boys, playing some poker. Hey, what's the buy-in? Can I play? You're probably gonna let women play then. You're right. Why are the wax figures everywhere? Francis Greville, you're freaking me out, my guy. Okay. I don't want to get any closer. <laughs> the craziest part about this is it's literally just my mom and I in this whole castle. Just roaming the halls. And this is the Great Hall. <gasps> this is incredible. You know what, you're so much better than the Valiant Knight. <laughs> Who needs them? Who needs them when you've got your mom? Please, someone be your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I see why having a castle is an advantage during battle. I'm at the very top of the castle and I can literally see everything. If I see enemies coming, I sound the alarm. I get my bow and arrows and I knock and I loose. I don't know, I saw that in Game of Thrones once. I don't know. Mother, back then, there were treacherous times and they went through very barbaric moments. <laughs> and what they would do is fight to the death sometimes, <laughs> on occasion. <laughs> Therefore, on <laughs> guard! <laughs> You never got me that Polly Pocket set when I was younger. <laughs> Die! Take that! And that! And that! Huzzah! You were always horrible at high school. I hope to die from the Black Plague! <laughs> You're gonna die of treason! Treason! That's what everyone dies of! <laughs> Oh my god, look at, we've stumbled upon some beautiful peacocks! I'm just hanging out with some peacocks! I don't think I've ever been so close to a peacock in my life. It was lovely catching up with you ladies, but <laughs> until next time, okay? Same time tomorrow? Absolutely. Toodles! <laughs> it is now time for breakfast, where we are having breakfast in the castle library. Oh my gosh, this is insane! This is insane. Oh, oh, we've got, we've got company! When I said we weren't alone and it was just you and me, I did not mean that. I believe that is Quinston Churchill. Winston, Winston Churchill. I, th I think it's Quinston. It's, oh, I know Winston oh. Churchill, but I don't think that's him. Oh, <laughs> oh you're... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know how Michael Jackson had that little dance move? Where he would go like this and just keep going and defy gravity? Well, you know what? He's not the first one. Because our homeboy over here appears to be getting nasty with it. Look at that lean. Breakfast has arrived. Milady, I heard whispers in the night that Lady Eleanor was seen with a knight in the night. <laughs> And you know that she's devoted to Sir Gregory, right? Oh, my goodness. She's such a <laughs> <laughs>
Now back then they trained birds to do a lot of different things for them. Sometimes they would have pigeons be like messenger pigeons. Could you imagine sending a pigeon in today's age? Can I schedule my Manny Petty nail appointment at 4 p.m.? Now other things that they would use birds for is they would use like eagles and falcons to hunt, to like actually gather and get food. There just so happens to be a falcon show just down the road here. So let's go see the birds in action. I think I can hear them. Don't worry, brethrens, I'm coming. Oh my god, why is he coming? Oh! <laughs> I literally just ducked. I was terrified. We are your archery instructors for today. Now, Ooh. these right here are going to be your targets. Pull to our cheek and release. Ooh. Just like that, nice and easy. Everyone nice happy? and easy, you ready? So, fingers here. There you go, he's looking good, he's looking proper. Well Ooh. Good. Bullseye. Wow. Okay, I'm yes. gonna show all of my ex-boyfriends this video, okay? <laughs> this is what's gonna happen to them. Okay, here we go. Wow, Ooh. getting closer. Off with their head. <laughs> Tonight, we steal the moon. Oh, what? what? Is that a Despicable Me quote? <laughs> <laughs> now, a couple of years ago, there was a member of the costume department uh -huh. sewing this mannequin's dress, and she stopped because she could feel small childlike fingers <gasps> wisping through the strands of her. <sighs> she stopped, looked around, there was no one else there. Uh -huh. Just her and the mannequin. Oh my god. This was a couple of years ago. Around that same time, there was a wedding taking place upstairs. Uh -huh. Someone came up from using the undercroft toilet, mm -hmm. said they saw a little girl standing uh -huh. outside the kingmaker. <gasps> No children invited to the wedding. Someone interrupted one of my tours because they said they saw those little girls <gasps> standing by the lost child points outside. No one was there. And the tower suites, children have told their parents they were speaking to a little girl. Oh, lovely. Can't wait to spend the night here. <laughs> <laughs> this is set to be the most haunted room in the castle. Lovely. So this is where Daisy would host a seances. A couple of years ago, we had a member of the retail team sat in that corner. They're completely alone. They see a shadowy figure crawl out the fireplace. <gasps> climb onto its back, scuttle across the carpet, and climb into this wardrobe. So what makes this room the most haunted? So this is where apparently Anne and Daisy had their seances, and they said this is where Alistair Crowley took out a Ouija board. Oh. He opened a door and did not close the door behind him. Oh. Okay, that was a little bit alarming. When I was going to see the tour of the castle, I wasn't necessarily expecting ghost stories. He mentioned that the servant bell, when it's completely shut off, it's been ringing. He mentioned that there's a little girl roaming around the castle. Don't love that. And he also mentioned that there was someone who was messing with a Ouija board and they never closed the portal, which means that there could potentially be spirits throughout the castle. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that, but you know what? It's fine. Cause mom and I have each other and we are big, strong, independent women that don't need no man. Nightfall is coming coming soon, so we better brace ourselves. <laughs> now the only place that we have not seen in this castle is the dungeon. The dungeon was where they would put prisoners down there if you did literally anything remotely wrong. They would literally throw you in the dungeon. And back then, you would get thrown in there for literally anything. You speak poorly about your husband, you're getting thrown in there. You steal an apple, you're getting thrown in there. There's no windows, no doors, no light. It's gonna be real dark in there. I'm not excited. Let's go check it out. Okay. Jesus. All right, here we go. Oh, they just had to keep on the audios. <laughs> okay, because it's Halloween time, they've got a couple like scary things here and there. Oh, no. you know, my heart is racing. <laughs> oh God, I don't like that. Oh, there's a man in there. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm glad we're all here together. Wait, is this this way? <gasps> Are you freaking kidding me? This is petrifying. Do we go this way or up? Your choice. Oh, I get to choose? Oh, hell yeah, I'm not going in that room. That's for dang sure. Oh yeah. Ooh. See, I like when it's light out. This is cr You've never been in here or you have? This is the first time you've got. You've never been here? Oh my God, that's- Two and a half years. Holy crap. We can turn off that audio. That's freaking terrifying. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God, why is this like literally terrifying? Okay, we're walking through the dungeon right now and there's, oh my God, this is like literally petrifying. It is pitch black, there's no windows in here. You can barely see where you're walking. Oh my God, I'm like literally- <laughs> A hundred thousand beats per minute right now. This should be one of your challenges. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that sounds really great. Okay, you know what? 
I feel so scared right now. Like there's something in the air. Oh my God, I'm, my heart is racing. Okay, you know what? I think that's enough. I think we can stop here. Are we calling it quits? You know what? I need, I'm, ah! I need to, we need to get out of here. Oh my God. Go to the light, Jordan. Follow the light. Oh my God. I'm, thank God we live in modern day. I've never loved modern day more in my life. And this is during the daytime? Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is gonna be really scary when it gets dark. What? Here? In about two hours. It's gonna get dark, Mom, and we're gonna be in this castle by ourselves. <laughs> that, that's gonna be scary, isn't it? Oh. The mound. The mound? The mound is scary. Wait, why? Scary. Why is the mound scary? It's just all the sounds you can hear from the top. Oh! We have a company called Haunted Happenings, and every month they run like a uh, seance uh -huh. in and around this <gasps> area. They come in with their like four or five Ouija boards, and they host, they host a vigil either on the mound insane. or oh that tower, which used to be called the Ghost Tower. Oh, yeah. oh lovely. There are definitely a spirits, you know, everywhere, and especially in old places uh -huh. and castles that are a thousand years old. Yes. Here. But do I need to ruffle their feathers? No, I don't. <laughs> I think taking the history tour before we sleep here and wander the castle was not the move, for sure. I say we just go to dinner, we go sleep at this hotel, and come back in the morning. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, actually? Yeah, why? Who cares? Well, I mean, because I'm kind of down. Okay, well, let's do it. <laughs> See, I think this place would just be less bad if there were more people staying here. Right. You know? Mother. What? I will pay you $500 <laughs> if you can last more than five minutes in that dungeon. Nope. $500? Nope. You wouldn't? Nope. Nope. Isn't that crazy? $1,000? Nope. Are you for real? Not for real. $1,000? Hell no. Why not? Because I just, it's just, this place since the minute we walked in is creepy. And I just have a feeling. And it's creepy. And it's not that <laughs> like, it's so cool during the day. I loved it when all the kids and the families are here. But mm -hmm. we're like by ourselves. There's mm -hmm. no one even spending the night. <laughs> No. And they know it. The guy that took in our names mm -hmm. is so nice. And he's like, oh, I'm even afraid to go over there. I'm like, you've worked here for three years no, and you're no. afraid? I'm like, f*** that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Things that are a thousand years old have history and spirits. And guess what? I don't need to wake them up or anything. <laughs> I'm good, you know? Not that anything bad's gonna happen. Why? I can spend $90 and sleep peacefully. What do you mean? I'm next at the hotel next door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna stick this out, okay? As much as I don't, I don't want to either, I really don't want to. But you know what? Nightfall is coming. <laughs> <laughs> and the workers that are like afraid. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, workers are like, oh no, I won't go. And they're like, just don't go into King. That's next door to us. <laughs> King's sale. What's it called? I don't King's. know. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even say it. Yeah, I don't won't even, even say it. I completely understand. <sighs> but you know what? what? We have dinner. Yeah. I don't care what you say. We'll have dinner and bye. <laughs> I'll have dinner and I'll have breakfast and it's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> And my bed in the hotel is going to be awesome. Okay, well, you know what? All we need to do is go to dinner. We'll come back. We'll get in bed. We'll keep the lights on when we fall asleep, and it'll be great. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's go to dinner. Okay, so now we've just arrived to the Grand Hall. This is where we're having our dinner, and might I just say, the food is looking immaculate, okay? You know, back then they didn't have any fancy spices. They were just dealing with the bold flavors of chicken legs and vegetables. We've just got the hearty meal that is vegetables and meat, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, hang on. We've got some people in armor about to, oh, is, wait, what's going on? Oh my God. Three, two, Mother, we came, we conquered, and now you know what's next. You know what's next. Are you prepared? Okay, so that dining hall was a little bit a ways away from the actual castle, so now we're walking back to our room at the castle where no one else is staying. <laughs> Lovely. And it's dark out. We're about to not have string lights either, so. Oh God, it's freezing. I don't think I would be able to survive the Middle Ages because it's too cold. I need a heater in my life, okay? No, it's like literally pitch black. You literally can't see anything, but we're just, we're walking. Honestly, there could be animals out here. I have no idea. I have no idea.
home. Home sweet home. <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Oh God, it's just so quiet in here. Okay, here we are. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, so we're in the room. Oh God. Um, I don't like the windows open. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, hang on. We're just gonna close these. I'm closing the curtains because you can see out of this window directly into the windows of the rest of the castle. Some of the lights are on and some of them are not. And I would just rather not even let my brain run wild and freak out about that. I'm a strong independent woman that don't need no man, but I am just a little bit on edge. After everything that happened today, I'm just a little bit more in tune. And then the tour guide talking about, you know, all the different rooms was great until he mentioned that there's, you know, ghosts, essentially. There's been a little girl seen throughout the castle over the years. And then the rest of the castle, all the activities were so fun. But then we got to the dungeon and I was like, oh my God, I know that it's Halloween time and they added like extra scare factors to it. But even just like the energy of being in a dungeon, I just, there's just a lot to to it, you know? <sighs> I'm trying to put my feelings into words, but it's a little bit difficult because the only words that are coming out of my mouth is that I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. But all I need to do is shut my eyes and go to sleep and we're gonna be fine, right mama? Exactly. I'm gonna get ready for bed and then I literally cannot wait until that sun comes back up because that means daytime, which is so much less scary than nighttime. Okay, let's get ready for bed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking exhausted. I honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have any problem falling asleep because I'm that exhausted from how long of a day this was. It was so fun. We did so much, learned so much, but we've got another long day tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Mom, are you awake? Yes. I haven't slept at all. It sounds like it sounds like a whooshing sound. It's like well, whoa, I don't want to hear about it. Should we check it out? Jason, stop. I'm not do what? what? I don't I'm trying to just like sleep and not think about anything. Mama, I'm scared. You are? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you are you are never get scared. Okay, well like what the while I'm recording this, there's like white specks crossing the camera. Oh, stop it. Can we just go? I mean, this is silly. I'm not, I'm not going to sleep yet. <laughs> Where are you going to go? To another hotel. Pearson, I don't care. I can't sleep like this anyways. <laughs> it's one o'clock in the morning. Pearson, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, I'm getting up. You can stay here, but I'm leaving. You're what? not leaving me alone. Pearson, I am not staying, so let's go. For real. For real? Yeah. <laughs> It's not funny. Why is it I just funny? don't like to be uncomfortable. This is like a museum and it's just weird and it's creepy. <laughs> and we're the only ones here. We're two girls by ourselves. <laughs> so let's go. I'm leaving. No, mom, you can't leave. Pearson, I, I, I can and I will. Where are we going to go? I don't care. We'll find a hotel. But why? Because I'm not going to be uncomfortable for... 10 hours. I'm just not. I'm not gonna do it. And like, I'm strong and stuff, but like, there's no reason to like go to this torment. Okay. <gasps> Jesus. Oh my god. It's the toilet. Oh my god. No, you know what? I just freaked out from your toilet noise. <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's, let's go. <laughs> I feel 100% better. Don't you? Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> As you can see, we are no longer in the medieval castle. We're in a hotel down the street. You know what? I think we just freaked ourselves out a little bit. Or maybe it was valid. I don't know, but we didn't stick around to find out. We loved the castle, but during the day and when there's more people there. Or when we're by ourselves and we're just two girls and we can't fend for ourselves. If anything were to happen, we were like, you know what? <laughs> I think it's time to go. 
It was just like too much. I love it so much, that castle. I do. It's just like creepy at night when we were the only ones there. So That I, sounds like a horror movie in the making. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that just means, you know what, Mom? We would never survive the Middle Ages. No. Ever. No. Okay, you know what? I'm so glad that I was born in the 21st century because <laughs> I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Anyways, we love you guys so much and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> You know what? Maybe I can brush my teeth with this. <laughs> dun, 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 Joffrey! <laughs> You're dead! <laughs>